In this video, we will try out a new illegal LEGO hack on how to get the whole series of minifigures at once, without a single repetition. Let's take a look at the minifigures from the new series. And I'll show you some interesting ideas on how to use them and what cool customs you can make from them. Well, with you as always Papa LEGO, let's go! Since September 1st, LEGO has stopped releasing figures in plastic bags. Now each piece is packed in an individual box, and we can no longer identify the figure by touch as before. But modern problems require modern solutions. Therefore, the first thing I went to one of the many online stores and found inexpensive jewelry scales there. Which determine the weight with an accuracy of one hundredth of a gram, they cost between $5 and $10, so it will be a worthwhile investment. Immediately upon receipt, I began to test the scales. Having used the same parts several times, I found out that the scales have a small error of up to five hundredths of a gram but even the smallest part weighs more. So this new illegal method should work. After waiting for the 1st of September, I went to the nearest LEGO store in the morning to test my new scales. As I measured each box, I recorded its weight until I identified 12 boxes with different weight. Particularly attentive noticed that I bought the 13th box. Why I did this, you will find out soon. Now I will weigh each box and indicate its weight on the screen. This will help you find the figurine you want if you decide to use this illegal technique too. 1885. In this series, this is the weight of the She-Hulk minifigure. The figurine itself is unlikely to cost a lot of money in the future. I wanted this figure the last thing, but it is still very cool. Double plastic on legs and arms and prints on all sides. Also, there are two interesting accessories in the kit. You can simply add him to your minifigure collection, or you can make a cool character for your LEGO world. For example, a gladiator of Galactic Games, or a space bounty hunter. I think it looks a lot more interesting this way. And so, it was the first minifigure. The next box weighs 1839. Inside it is a cool Mr. Knight figurine. It looks very interesting and would be a great addition to any collector. This character has a very cool accessory. I have never seen such an aquarium in LEGO. But what else can you do with this figure if you don't collect LEGO Marvel? I changed the head and added a beard and hairstyle. Now this can be used as a monument for your LEGO city. In the meantime, Mr. Knight goes to the collection, we will proceed to the next box. The scales show a value of 17 and 30. Who will be inside this box? A figurine of some werewolf I've never heard of before. I googled it and found out it was werewolf by night. True, the minifigure looks more like a person with hypertrichosis. However, I was very pleased with the quality and the large number of prints all over the body. Also, a new unique hairstyle with ears. True, on other figures it looks strange. Well, in his hand, he apparently has someone's heart. However, the figurine can be interesting to use if you are building a fantasy world like me. A medieval scientist decided to create an elixir that gives inhuman strength. But something went wrong and now, at the sight of the moon, he turns into a hungry wolf-like creature. Go to the collection. The next box shows 1893. There is obviously something heavy in it. Oh no. She-Hulk again. Why this particular minifigure? So my collection today will definitely not be complete. Well, you can see that even the same minifigures can vary slightly in weight. So this method cannot be called 100% reliable. Well, we continue to unpack the minifigures and the next box weighs 1773. I hope there will be something new already. Oh yes, it's Hawkeye. Compared to other minifigures, this character is very simple. Completely black legs like in the cheapest LEGO City sets. But a very cool new bow detail. Great addition to my fantasy world. Also, a new unique hairstyle and an interesting head with band-aid. A very cute little owl and a standard black quiver. The details are very interesting, but what can make with the minifigure itself? I decided to make a secret special agent. He has a mask with a night vision device, a harpoon to climb walls and of course, a pistol with a silencer. This makes the minifigure look a little more interesting. This was already the fourth character from the new series and so far there has only been one repetition. But the weight method isn't the only LEGO hack I'm going to tell you about today. In one of my previous videos, I already showed you how to dust off your LEGO sets. But recently I learned about another easy and effective way. This, of course, is about a compact special vacuum cleaner from Clean My Bricks. A special brush shakes off dust, and a powerful stream sucks everything down to the last speck of dust. 
Long threads penetrate into all the gaps between the pins, which leaves no chance for dust. Now your collectible sets and large buildings will always look nice and tidy. And the absence of dust will make the air in the room cleaner and fresher. I have already ordered such a vacuum cleaner and tested it on my Fantasy City and the new Rivendell set. And I can definitely recommend it to you. And a special bonus from me, a 10% discount via the link in the description. Make your LEGO game safer. Next we have a heavy box again. Wait 1952, and in it one of the most expected figures for me, Storm. I really liked this character as a child when I watched this legendary animated series X-Men 97, and the minifigure looks very cool in my opinion. I would really like to keep her like this for my collection, but she has a very cool haircut that I use for a custom dwarf and an even cooler new cape. It will come in handy for the next custom, Moon Priestess. In it, I combine parts from Rey from Star Wars, several different white capes, and hair from the new Legolas figure. And also, I made a small decanter with moonlight. I think it will be a great addition to my fantasy world. Next is the box, weighing 2178. This is the heaviest figure in this series, and for me one of the coolest. All because it's Agatha Harkness. I absolutely do not know such a character, but the figure itself looks amazing. A very cool purple robe and cloak that will be a real find if you, like me, collecting your fantasy world. The robe is made in such a way that you can use both yellow and flesh-colored heads. Agatha's hairstyle is not new, but a cool book with unique prints and a couple of purple magic details will be a bonus. Even in this form, it can be added to the fantasy world, but I decided to make something more interesting out of it. But more on that later. And soon you will understand why. In the meantime, we will open the next box, which weighs 19 and 39. These are the numbers for one of the most coveted minifigures in this series for many Marvel fans, Moon Knight. I really like this figurine. Very stylish prints, of which there are a large number. Cool hood and lots of accessories. Among them are two golden crescent-shaped daggers and two small scarabs. The figure itself has two faces, which will allow you to make many cool customs. It would look great in the collection, but I still decided to make it custom for my fantasy world. This is a desert wanderer. Keeper of knowledge and the sands of time. He travels the deserts and eastern steppes and guards ancient temples from orc looting. I changed his legs, taking them from the old mummy. Made a staff out of an hourglass. As a weapon, I gave him two golden katanas and put golden bracelets on his hands from the details of the one ring. These bracelets allow him to create lunar magical shields. Now he will become one of my favorite characters in my fantasy world. And so, we have already collected 7 characters and only one repetition fell out. This box weighs 1726, which becomes a problem. After all, in the series there are figures with very similar weights. Damn! It's a werewolf again. I won't be able to collect the entire series today. However, given that the figures are in boxes, this is better than nothing. The next box weighs 1805. And in it we have Ant-Man. More precisely, his small copies and some kind of Marvel character. As far as I know, it should have been Kong the Conqueror instead. That figurine is pretty good too. I really liked the quality of her work. There are a lot of prints, as if I am holding a Chinese Lego figure in my hand. Comes with a spare haircut. We've seen this one before. And two super little Ant-Man. With them in hand, it really looks gigantic. And how does LEGO manage to do that? However, I personally would add a few details. Additional armor from the Hero Factory series. And also a blaster. With several of these figures, you can assemble an entire squad of Space Marines to diversify your Star Wars world. I like it. There are only three boxes left, and one of them weighs 2071. Will there be something interesting in it? Oh yes, it's Kate Bishop. I really wanted to get this character because of the new unique part of the brown bow. For my fantasy world, this will be an indispensable thing. The figurine itself, although made with high quality, but it will be difficult to come up with something interesting with it. But the dog made me happy. I have never such an animal in my collection before. And there's also a pizza box. I will take the bow and the dog from her for the fantasy world, and I will make a cyberpunk hacker out of the figurine itself. With the help of her gadgets, she will be able to penetrate the network and find all the information she needs. And with pizza, she will definitely look like a hacker or an IT specialist. Now I'm one step closer to collecting the entire new series. The penultimate box weighs the same as one of the previous minifigures. I think you have already guessed why I bought the 13th box. 
Of course, I could not pass by such a cool minifigure and bought two pieces at once. From them I made new characters for my fantasy world, Dark Elves. They have established their bastion on the seashore, where they practice dark spells and sorcery. The more they use this dark power, the more their body and souls are distorted. However, according to rumors, their sacrifice was not in vain, and the Dark Elves learned how to open portals. I will talk more about them in the next videos, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Well, in front of us is the final box. The weight of the figure is 19 and 15. I really hope that one of the X-Men will be inside. And yes, fortunately for me, it turned out to be Wolverine. The minifigure is 100% gorgeous, although the prints are not very high quality in places. This is not the first appearance of this character in LEGO, and I have long wanted him in my collection. As a bonus, the set includes a head from a cyborg for training and, if desired, you can assemble it entirely. It's hard to make a good custom out of this figure. And who can be cooler than the old man Logan? It's just a pity I didn't get the beast so that there was a complete set of X-Men 97. Nevertheless, this new illegal method can definitely be called effective. And I will definitely buy the two missing minifigures.